I used to the government, Chinese government learned from SARS, and I think he has the biggest responsibility. It's a hard question. I think it should be all right. Yeah, because it's my dream. So I hope China can become more democratic and more liberal. Yeah, of course. I think it's not a natural disaster, but a purely man-made disaster. The government tried to lead the public opinion to blame the people who eat bad. But I think the fundamental is not about math, it's about the government. During the early stages, he didn't do well, and he had to choose what really happened in China, in Wuhan. The state media told the people during the early days the virus would not spread among people, but of course that's not the truth, and they arrested and especially Chen Jiushi, like, uh, he just tried to like tell the people what really happens in Wuhan, but unfortunately, like, he's missing. The police punished eight doctors who were talking about the disease on SNS. I think it's just yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, I think fundamentally the responsible person is him because he centralized all the power into Beijing into like his hand. So as the Wuhan mayor said, he couldn't release any news about the virus if he couldn't get the authorization from the central government. Thought. I used to thought government, Chinese government learned from SARS, so they already established a new system to control the disease, because disease is not some sensitive political issues, so they have no reason to hide it. But after this time, the coronavirus, I think Chinese government didn't, couldn't learn from the history. So I think only the Chinese government make the information and news more transparent. I don't think there's another way to solve this problem. Because of their restraint on the speech, the situation already become today is like disaster. Not only me, but also some of my friends. Soon after even announced that like many people criticize the government on WeChat and Weibo. And including, including me, like we couldn't post anything. Yeah. Because in China, all the Chinese SNS like, are under the control of the police, the government. You don't know when they are watching you, they're listening to you. This kind of fear among the people. Yeah. Yeah, of course, soon after the death of Dr. Li Wenliang, like, that phenomenon was quite strong. There are many like, Chinese people who used to support Chinese government or like Hong Kong police, but now they turn to criticize government about their behavior. Because I think this time, the situation really affects their life, their daily life. So many people could feel more about what's happening and their anger. Like, people can feel that, yeah.